So do we call you Bridget or Camera Lady? Uh, I am Bridget, also known as your camera person extraordinaire. Let's take a look at your equipment. Got it. First run of the day, Bridget. No pressure. nervous it just feels like I start making mistakes and I can feel it compiling so I start out and I'm you know forward and I'm good and all of a sudden I feel myself you know lean back just a little bit and then my skis kind of you know shoot out and then I get weight on my inside leg instead of putting weight on my outside and it just sort of is a cascading event of um, of errors Okay, now in a wedge, I'd like to see you make backwards turns. So point your arm, push your arms to me, push your arms forward to me, and you're gonna make your turn. We're focusing on foot to foot and steering, okay? There you go. Now your left foot, there you go. Right foot, there you go. Really notice your foot to foot steering. Yeah, very active with your legs, not being static. I think you thought I was crazy in asking you to do that. You did that. Awesome. Again, I don't want you to go to a default mindless place when you make your turns. Going backwards like that, you had to think about every little thing. Keep steering. Keep steering. Yeah. That looks scary. Okay, <laughs> so imagine you're an intermediate skier and that intermediate skier makes a lot of their turn all at once and then kind of side slips. They stop turning their legs. Yeah. They've become static. They have stopped. That's what happens when we get scared. We stop moving. Yeah. You mentioned earlier when you're in the steeps, you're in mixed conditions that you might get scared, you get static and stop moving. That's exactly what happened right there, okay? okay. Let's go back over to another pitch and you're and you know what a fluid rounded turn feels like? Yeah. We're going to try to feel that going backwards, okay? You can go forward right now, Bridget. Okay, let's look at this terrain. It is steep, bridgy. If you were going forward, you would be so comfortable. Yep. Now, <laughs> when you're going forward, you're not going to overly break at your waist. No. You're gonna lean into the front of those boots. There you go, not breaking too much of your waist. Okay, your inside leg's gonna get quite short because that's what happens when we're on steeper terrain. We're not going fast, we're staying in a wedge. Okay. And steering, go ahead. Okay, you won't see the look of terror this time. Okay. I don't think. Yeah, new foot, beautiful. New foot and steer it. New foot, new foot. Okay, let's stop. Bridget. That was really good. That was really, really good. One thing on your backward double black diamond steep skiing, <laughs> um, your upper body was following your legs a little bit. Was it? Yeah, a little bit. Your upper body was, was following across the hill. Okay. Okay? Yeah, that's what happens when we're less skilled. Yeah. Then our upper body tends to follow our feet, huh? Yeah, that's true. Am I putting you through the ringer? Well, backwards. It's like a backwards rinse cycle. Okay, watch. <laughs> okay, Bridget, you're a rock star. Thank you for being so open to trying new things. Let's take it back into your comfort zone, into the bumps. Okay, and hopefully you can bring that backwards wedge experience and moment and emphasis into these bumps a little bit, all right? Okay, 
so Bridget, obviously today in the Moguls, we didn't talk about tactics, meaning where to turn at all. We just focus on your body and the movements, yeah. really, and, and trying to work on that. So what's gonna be your focus this run, last run of the day? Hmm. Uh, it's gonna be, my focus is gonna be on, on our foot to foot that we've been talking about. Uh, and kind of that whole stacking idea and not getting my, not breaking at the hips. Not over flexing at your waist, yeah. yeah. So you're gonna replace that over flexing with a little more activity from foot to foot pressure. Yeah. All right, let's see it. I felt myself kind of compensating because I feel myself breaking or bending at the waist and so I popped myself up and then I had this flashback to my like learning to ski in the 80s and 90s and I was taught to pop up between my turns and I loved the pop. You love your pop. And I it there have been there's been a lot of work to get rid of my pop. You know, feeling pop and energy in skiing is like the best feeling in the whole wide world, but we're gonna get that pop out of the ski not pop out of you flexing and extending for that pop. The extension retraction. Um, that's a whole nother video. <laughs> I still don't know what it means. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. Feel that ski track. One, one real silly thing, your pole planting. Uh -huh. You know, and for those types of turns, the pole plant's not really necessary. You can just do a little pole touch or a pole swing. Okay. okay? Nice turns though. Thanks. The next time we're out, we can skate along here. Um, it's, it's, we're gonna work it into your hips a little bit. I think your hip, hip alignment is a little bit off. I know, but now I'm so curious. I wanna hear about the hips. No, skiing, you know, it's lifelong learning. You can't do it all in one session. I wanna be perfect right now. Oh gosh. <laughs>